a 40 volt drill and impact driver from Makita. Is this something you need? We'll find out in just a moment. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the brand new XGT line of tools from Makita and they're powered by their brand new 40 volt max batteries. Now some of these tools are actually 80 volt max. Yep, that's right. They run two of these 40 volt batteries. Now in this case, we've got the GPH-01, which is the brand new hammer drill driver. We've already reviewed the GDT-01, which is their impact driver, their 40 volt impact driver. We are very impressed with this. We'll have a link in the description and probably up here as well where you can link to that video and that review also. Now let's take a closer look at the new GPH-01 40 volt hammer drill driver. We'll get some specs on it. We'll talk about the power. Then we'll actually use it and show you what it's got, and then we'll come back, talk about pricing, warranty, and where you might find it. As we mentioned, this is the brand new Makita GPH-01 hammer drill driver. Now there's actually three different modes on this. There's actually more than that, but three distinct modes. So you have a drilling mode, you have driver mode or screwing mode, and then you also have hammer drill mode as well. Now there's a bunch of different features depending on which one of these that we're in, and we'll cover that in just a moment. You also have two speeds, pretty typical indicator here on the top and shifting mechanism to go from speed one to speed two. Now, as far as speeds go in speed one or in mode one, you're gonna get zero to 650 RPMs, pretty typical. In speed two, that's really where you're gonna see the difference, zero to 2600 RPMs. Now, Typical drills are gonna be somewhere in that 2100, 2200 range of RPM. So this is going all the way up to 2600 RPMs. We're also getting 1250 inch pounds of torque out of this drill driver as well. So that's up there on that scale also. In power mode one, you're gonna get zero to 9750 blows per minute. Now in speed two or mode two, you're actually gonna get zero to 39,000 blows per minute. So that's really gonna help when you're drilling in that concrete or masonry to actually get that work done. Now here's the big difference in this 40 volt drill driver is that when we're in screw mode or when we're in driver mode, so you see the little screw symbol right there, we don't have a typical chuck where, where you choose between the 15, 16, 20, 22 different settings in a, in a clutch that's typically here on a drill driver. What we have down here is the actual digital clutch. So we have a digital clutch set up here and it changes depending on whether you're in mode one or mode two. So if we're in mode two, you can see down here and it says 21. And if I push this little button right here, which turns green, tells me that's unlocked. Now I can use this little dial and dial this down all the way to one and all the way up to 21. Now, it's a little bit different when we shift to mode one. So if I click to mode one, now we'll see if we're at 21, I can still continue. That's interesting. So in mode one, Now it says I have 41 settings in mode two. That's supposed to be opposite. In mode one, I'm sp supposed to get 41. And in mode two, I'm supposed to get 21. So that is really interesting there. Right now it's giving it to me in both. Now I'm in mode one and I've got 41 settings. And let's see if I shift to mode two. Yep, so now it corrected itself. That was interesting there. In mode two, I'm sp supposed to have 21 settings which it's maxed there at 21. And now in mode one, I have 41 different settings. So a lot of different settings that you have and it's digital. In other words, it's actually going to stop the motor itself. So you'll see I'm in mode one and, and you'll see here, it's actually stopping the tool. It's not doing your typical clicking. And then if I go up to let's say mode three, by the way, I have to push our button here to unlock it. And then I can go into mode three. Pulls a little bit stronger. 
And then on up to mode five, getting stronger and stronger. And let's go up to mode 10, really hurt myself here. Whew, that's burning my hand. So it's getting stronger and stronger. We'll show this here in one moment. We'll actually show it screwing into some wood and driving some fasteners. Now, something also interesting is that we're in, when we're in the driver of the screw mode, then you see this is lit up down here. Watch as soon as I turn to either hammer drill or to drill, that actually turns off. So you don't have any options down here when we're out of the driver mode. So it's back on. And again, if I turn to the right into drill mode, that goes off. So that's pretty nice. The fact that it only turns on when you can actually use it. So that's a pretty cool feature there. One thing I really like about the new 40 volt platformer batteries is the indicator here. You can easily see that. You can easily see the four big green lights to tell you how much fuel or how much charge you have left on the batteries. This is kitted with a two and a half amp hour 40 volt battery. Uh, and you can get it with the impact driver and the two two and a half amp hour batteries with the charger. Also, the new charger lights up really well. Also, just a lot cleaner look, a lot, uh, a really nice updated look here. Uh, and then you've got different colors here on the chargers, as well as a sound indicator letting you know when the battery is charged. And as always with the Makita, you hear that fan spooling up to cool down this battery pack while it's charging. Another really nice feature on the GPH-01 is the all steel Japanese chuck from Yukiwa or Yukiwa, however you want to pronounce that. Um, so all steel design ratcheting chuck here. So very, very smooth as well as when you clamp it down, you get that ratcheting effect. So you can really feel that and then you can lock it into position as well. So half inch ratcheting chuck that's all steel, really nice. Now let's get some weights and measurements on this one. So we're on pounds and ounces. So with the two and a half amp hour battery, uh, we're looking at five pounds and four ounces. So just over five pounds uh, with the two and a half amp hour battery. Uh, with the auxiliary handle on it, you're probably gonna add a few ounces. So yeah, we're right at six pounds with uh, the auxiliary handle on it. And then you add the, the, the depth gauge on it as well. Now you're at six pounds, two ounces. So still about a six pound tool when you add everything with it. Now, as far as measurements goes, uh, the height of this is right at 10 and a half inches. So just over 10 and a half inches tall from floor to ceiling. And then we're looking at with the chuck, looking at, so with the chuck, you're looking at 7.1 inches, almost 7.2 inches uh, from tip to tail, if you will. And then as far as width goes across the backside, you're looking at 2.6 inches. So pretty small tool for the amount of power that this is actually going to put out. And then finally, we have an LED here right below the chuck. It's gonna shine the light on whatever you're drilling, whatever you're driving. Um, so kind of shine you some light on that work area. And the typical directional lever right here below the head obviously a brushless motor and we've got the typical rubber over molding here uh, that's pretty typical on any makita handles and got that same familiar shape it's very comfortable very ergonomic to hold with the rubber over molding flowing down even down here uh, around the uh, battery base as well and flowing up here to guard around the back of this brushless motor area also let's go use this and see what we think We've got a two and nine sixteenths inch speed bore bit in here. So it's got an auto feed bit uh, with two cutters on it and we've got it in high. We've got it in speed two. Now, most of your hammer drills cannot make it through with this cut in speed two. Most of the time you have to step down to speed one. So I'm really curious if the GPO 201 can actually pull it off. We've got a full battery. So let's see here. Guess not. So we'll go to speed two or speed one. And no problem. Go back to speed two. Now I'm curious about something. This is the Diablo bit. I'm going to grab the Makita bit.
So now I've got the Makita to a 9 16 inch bit in here. It only has a single cutting head right there. Um, so maybe a little different. Let's see. Nope, and this is not pressure treated wood. This is just regular white pine. So no problem. No problem in speed one to do it, just in speed two, doesn't have the guts to quite make it through. Another feature this has is the anti-kickback mode. So if you're drilling and it grabs something, it actually shuts the tool off. You see, I still have my finger on the trigger. We'll try that again. Finger is still on the trigger. Okay, we're gonna take the Makita 40 volt hammer drill driver, the GPH-01, and we're gonna drive some screws. We've got some three inch deck screws as well as these are six or seven inch construction fasteners. And we're just gonna show the settings here on driving uh, with the drill driver, which is a little bit different than driving with an impact driver. I know a lot of times we have substituted the drill and use an impact driver now for driving screws and that works great. However, the drill driver has a little bit of an advantage when it comes to setting screws into wood and even into metal sometimes because you have these clutch settings now and especially with this one, we have so many. So we're gonna turn it to driver mode and then we'll see once we activate the drill that we get our number showing up here again where we can actually uh, uh, choose that. We're going to go into mode one or power mode one and then we're going to unlock it and let's drive it down to one and start off there. So as I mentioned, I've got a three inch deck screw and we'll just drive it and this is mode one. So you see that's how far it drove. It drove it about an inch in and stopped. My finger is still on the trigger. So you didn't hear any clicking, any ratcheting like you would on a typical clutch setting on a drill. It just drove that and then stopped. Now let's go to, we'll go to two. We'll unlock there and now we'll go to two. And now it drove a little further and stopped. Now I'm not going to go to every setting, but let's just, uh, let's go to five now. So number one, you hear, I let off the trigger, by the way, you heard it actually speed up a little bit rather than in mode one, mode one, mode five. So it's actually speeding up in RPMs a little bit. It's also going to allow it to deliver more power. So drove it uh, almost flush and then stopped and that's in five. So if I go up to, let's say eight, probably going to countersink it quite a bit here. So countersunk it just below deck there and stopped the drill. Again, I had my finger on the trigger and it still dropped it. Now let's go up to, let's just say, and again, we're in mode one, so we've got 41 different settings we can go to. In fact, let's shift to two, and we'll just show here the power, and uh, we'll go to 15 with one of these long construction fasteners. Got to change out my bit here to a T40. Getting that ratcheting chuck. So it drove it about halfway and then stopped. So you see I can, and it's just stopping the tool. So I'm gonna go all the way to 21, grab another one of these. So 21 drove it just about flush and stopped. So that's all in mode two, but again, I can go back to mode one, really get my power setting down and I can go up to, let's say, 30. 
So drove that about flush and then stop it. So you see how much power we can deliver and still be able to drive the fastener, but be able to stop it at the same time. So you see that drove it way below deck before it actually stopped the tool. So we have a lot of flexibility here from zero to 41 in mode one and from zero to 21 in mode two. So mode two, you're gonna be faster obviously, but a little less power to be able to drive those fasteners, but we still were able to drive one of these long fasteners. I'll go back to 21 again, driving this six inch fastener. and drive it about level with the surface in mode two. The GPH-01 40 volt hammer drill driver is very featuresque and very smooth. We love the digital chuck settings where it actually just shuts down the drill rather than going through that clicking and clacking and uh, it was something we're typically used to on a chuck setting. Having 41 different settings in mode one is very nice as well. So you can literally drive a screw, you know, one inch long, or you can actually drive a six inch faster and more in the 41 different settings or using mode 41 uh, in speed one. Now in speed two, you're gonna give it a little bit more speed, but less power on the, on the tail end. We were still able to drive that full six inch faster all the way flush in speed two. So it still has a ton of power in speed two and you get that additional speed but back down to speed one, you're gonna get those additional settings as well as that additional power. Now, it wasn't able to drill the two and nine sixteenths inch hole in mode two or in speed two, but it was in mode one, it didn't have any problem at all. Now, there's only a couple of drills that can do that, and I'm not sure what that test even proves, but everybody seems to be interested in it, so we tried it. But regardless, it has no problem whatsoever turning that big speed bore bit in mode one and drilling through that wood. And it really doesn't matter whether we're using uh, regular pine like we were or pressure treated, we did it in that as well. Even LVL, it had no problem going through there in, uh, in speed one. So there's tons of power in this with the 1250 inch pounds of force. We also really like the all steel Yukiwa chuck. Um, Japanese chuck and it is a ratcheting chuck. So we like to see that as well uh, that also locks out. So really nice featuresque drill. We're really impressed with the GPH-01 40 volt drill. Now let's talk about cost. If you buy this on its own, it's like 399, but for 449, you get the GDT-01, which is the impact driver and the two batteries and the charger. So that would be the, your best bet by far is to buy the combo kit where you're gonna get both tools in the 40 volt platform. Now, do you need the 40 volt? It is quite a bit more power than their, uh, their, their 18 volt brushless hammer drill driver by about 200 inch pounds. So you are gonna get a lot more power and it's gonna be able to more easily do that with a 40 volt battery. Now, it's only a two and a half amp hour battery. However, in all the testing we did, we didn't even burn through a complete battery. Uh, that was the same way with the impact driver as well. So I think you're probably going to get a, a lot of use out of one of the two and a half amp hour batteries without having to step up to a larger battery. Make sure you check it out for yourself. Again, it's the Makita GPH-01 is the hammer drill driver and the impact driver is the GDT-01. It's part of their new XGT 40 volt lineup, three year warranty on these tools as well. Hey, would you check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well? And also, give us that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you don't mind. And by all means, if you hated our video, would you give us that thumbs down? But let us know in the comments why. Have a great day and keep smiling.